Hello and welcome and next I am planning to show you that how works this Mercedes-Benz this intake air temperature sensor intake intake temperature air sensor and there are those codes in this sensor and this sensor purpose is to measure this air movement and then when we start to look in the inner area I have to install this my this my my element in my this steel wise that I can install this part in here and let's look at how much this part moves there is some movement but let's look that when I install that in here and here is my workbench and now I install this my sensor in here then, and then now there is risk that this part damage will be damaged because this is plastic but let's look that can I take that away when I use my screwdriver that we can see this inner part in here here is this sensor element and here is my flathead screwdriver and now I try to take this sensor away this is this is very stuck in there and I I need now these pliers now this my sensor is in here and there are my pliers and I think that when I little bit move this my sensor element now it opens nicely excellent and it is actually still in workable very good work even that they are plastic and I really managed to take that out there is like plastic glue and sensor is really like workable really good work and then we can look these sensor elements in here closer that what they looks like okay and this is really only cover but there we can see those sensors and there is first sensor in here and let's look closer at that part okay and I take my screwdriver and this is first sensor what measures airflow and it is just this one in here and I can little bit clean this sensor there is my air intake spray and this is the sensor and this part can be dirty and it gives warning message and then there is another sensor in their inside area in here in this white area and let's look that one okay and there is really another sensor I believe that in in here hidden and that's that's I have to remove this white element because this is first sensor in here in that one now this is this sensor what measures air movement this is glass in here and air makes this in it moves this metallic parts in here and then I believe that there is second sensor in here inner and that's I have to take these parts away and let's go to look these parts removal okay and now we are looking this white sensor and now I open carefully these small pins in here these parts and I, I need to use also my pliers because there is this another oh now I damage that but it is normally because these are difficult to open and there in that area now we can see that there are sensors in this inner area just in there 
and there is two sensors in that area and let's go to look these sensors closer now we can see that in there inside there is one sensor and here is this first one sensor and now I check that those sensors in here air goes also in there and now when I remove that white, white plastic totally then we can see those inner sensors even better okay and now when I remove this white cover we can see that there is really small metallic cable in here and in here I feeling that there's at least one of these sensors and air really goes through this areas and then air goes away and there are like two metallic pins and like in that my case we can replace the sensor uh, when we use some glue in here but this kind of information small metallic cables and these parts must to be clean because if they are too dirty then we have issues in our engine okay that kind of information to you my friend